What is going on, governors? Chiskool here, and today we are going to be spinning the wheel for Zhang Yu. Please tell me I pronounced that correctly. Let's meet in the war room and chat a bit before we get this started. Welcome back, everybody. Hello to our members and moderators. Great to see you here. We've got Thug Light Years Reverse and the one and only EQ. Exotic Snow, how's it going? Baron AJ, good to see ya, as always. Julier, good to see you. Domo, BZ, Rahos, and Blessed Youth, 51. Also, a tremendous thank you to our Legendary Guard, our highest tier of member, whose portraits are proudly displayed in our war room, rotating through the wall. Now our KVK, man, it's been a little crazy. It's been a little crazy. Things are still happening. I mean, let's just get right in game here. Our allies in water camp, holding the Northern Pass. There have been no dull moments, this KVK. And as soon as reset lands, we spin the Wheel of Fortune. Now, I don't know how much fortune I, I'm going to have exactly, but Drogothian and I, I don't know, we're going to do some sort of contest. I don't know what happens when one or the other wins, but whoever gets the most sculptures from the Wheel of Fortune is going to be the winner. So, let's just take a guess real quick. How many sculptures do you think we're going to get from the Wheel of Fortune as I fire up some new tunes over here. We'll get some music going after that intro song, which I do enjoy. Here we go. How about Ocean Eyes? I don't know if I'm in the mood for that. Hype, not so hype. Mid-tier hype, maybe. We'll get to some mid-tier hype. 50 sculptures, please. Please. On day one, I don't know about that. Day one? Nah, I'm gonna get like 22. That's my guess. I'm gonna get 22. Tracothian's gonna get 28. He's gonna beat me again. Gosh darn it. That's my guess. I need the crab rave luck. The old luck of the crab rave. Uh, trick older than time. Do a crab rave before you rip from the Wheel of Fortune. We've got a Zenobia garrison here. Zenobia YSS, the meta play. Attila Takeda, probably... I mean... I, ge I guess if... Wait, Attila William? Well, now I don't even know what to make of it. Now I don't know what to make of it. Okay. DJ Crab Ghoul. Oh, infantry in the Attila rally. That can't be good. Here comes the counter rally from Go79. Looks like this is going to be an Attila with Takeda. Now that's a combination I'm more accustomed to. We need that report. Yeah, I would like to see that report, actually. Rally is canceled under the pressure of that counter rally. Alexander, good to see you. Cursed, how's it going? Let me see if I can get my hands on that report. Yeah? Let me get in the chat here. All right, I'm reaching out to someone. See if we can make that happen. Guess we'll see. All right, we'll get back in game.
Bunny is still fighting is pretty wild, man. Dude has lost a lot of power. Big Biggins, how's it going? From Crazy Haggis, hey, cheers. <laughs> uh, did we lose our zone? So right now, we've been sort of strategically, and in some ways not so strategically, falling back from this zone. Okay, and without getting too much into strategy, without getting too much into strategy, because the KVK is not over, but but I want to talk a little bit about kind of what's what's going on in our KVK here. All right. If nothing changed about the map, and it was, and, and nothing changed, it would have been us in the bottom right camp. Well, gosh, is this the right map to show you? Hold on, we can do better. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's, let's draw the map. Let me show you what happens. We can do better. Okay. Okay. Allied camps. Here. 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 Allied territory. Looks like this. Okay, it was kind of like this. Enemy territory was like so. Now, if nothing changed about our KVK, okay, then it would be one, two, versus one, two, three, four war camps, okay? And a 2v4 fight is not amazing, especially into the strongest kingdom in the game. This kingdom right over here is 114, okay? They had... Five, at least five billion power. More than we did when we were at our peak. Now they have eight billion power more than us. And it's all in T5 troops. So this 2v4 situation will be pretty bad. So you may be wondering, Chisco, why are you then strategically surrendering territory? Okay. The play that was made in my last stream, which you saw unfold, is that our allies tried to pressure 114. And if our allies had been able to get out and group up anywhere to make the odds something other than 2v4 in Kingsland, it would be a really interesting fight to continue to take. And, and like, look, we'll, we'll fight till the bitter end, but we're also not going to zero ourselves in a 2v4 against the strongest kingdom in the game by, I mean... Now 8 billion power more than we are all in T5 troops. We are 24 billion power. Okay. They're 32 billion power. Everybody understand the significance of that? That's all in T5 troops. Everybody get that? That is a KVK victory worth of troops above and beyond what we have. Everybody tracking? Everybody with me? So here's where we ended up. Is that these pushes, unfortunately... Didn't work. 
Okay? They didn't work. You're with me. It's just a picture. Yeah, but isn't this kind of an easier way to look at it? No? You don't think so? Anyways. So that's what's going on in our KVK. So right now... Right now, Water Camp is kind of holding over here. Okay. That's what, that's what you're watching. Smart playing, not reckless playing. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Right. So, so, you know, how many millions of troops should we try to lose to take a 2v4 in King's Land against the strongest kingdom in the game? Right? Like, I think the reasonable answer to that is the least amount uh, possible. Like, <laughs> you, it doesn't make any sense to do that. The Zig rewards aren't, aren't that great anyways. There you go. Right? There's a bunch of ways to slice that. That's where our KVK is at right now. Now I'll show you what this actually looks like in-game. And, and, and by the way, I think our allies did a really noble and heroic job trying to fight their way out of those starting zones that they're in. I just think we all looked at the map and we said the the best odds we have to actually make a play on the Zig is if we can get our allies out. You know? Um, and we were not able to get to them. We wanted to get to them. But due to the incredible backfording of the two war camps we're up against, it just was not going to be possible. Now, you may be wondering what the heck is backfording. Well, let me, let's jump in game. All right, let's, let's jump in game. We're just shooting the breeze. We got 10 minutes till we can spin this wheel anyway. So what the heck, right? We're just shooting the breeze. There was at one point 19 backbuilt forts to stop our progress. 19 forts. You destroy one fort and two more would show up in its place. They're like Hydra. Cut off one head and two more pop up. It, it, getting, we wanted to get over to our allies over here, but it just was not a possibility. That's so lame. I, I mean, it's smart. What's Abe's opinion? Abe only has ra uh, uh, flowery language. We'll say that. I'm going down. Dragothian. We're coming for you. Me and my gems. We're going to spin this wheel like it's never been spun. And granted, my luck's generally pretty bad on wheels. Where's my gem count? There it is. I got 417,000 gems with your name on it, buddy. <sighs> Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Good for the wheel spin anyways. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought every war camp we have fought incredibly well. We, we knew from the matchmaking it, it was an uphill battle. You know what I mean? I mean, we knew... We knew... When, you know... It's not hard to see what's going on when the three Imperium war camps, you know, versus the one situation unfolded. Kind of what was happening there. So... Yeah, we, I think we fought well. Um, death count for the KVK is 6.8, almost 6.9 million troops, all T5, of course. Dead troops that'll be returned. Not, not so bad. <laughs> uh... Why didn't, uh, didn't you try to do 114, 122, and 75 versus all? I mean, without getting into all the drama, without getting into all the drama, I mean, 114 agreed to a 3v5. Then they said, actually, wait. Use that time to make the coalitions that they have now.
and uh, then came back to us and said, "Nah, we're gonna do this four v four." They were like, "We want a really hard fight. This three, we want a three v five, a hard fight." We would have been happy being the three and happy being the five. And then they came back and they were like, "Actually, we took all the strongest camps." Well, we well we told you to wait. We took all the strongest camps. Good luck. Now, granted, I love the camps that we allied with. I'd ally with them again. They've all been awesome. Really badass camps. No question. Honestly, I think the 5v3 would have been really fun being the 5. I, I would have been okay being in the 5 situation. Uh, did 114 fight? I mean, 114 hasn't done a any fighting until these passes opened. And our allies in 79 have been, well, really water camp. 79, 135. And hold on. Let's do this too many kingdoms in this KV. I can't keep track of it. And 145. 135, 79, 145 have been fighting them over here. Honestly, they've been doing an awesome job. One fourteen, one twelve, seventy five versus all is fair and fun. I, I don't know what's fair and fun. I mean, it's all already happened at this point. So it kind of doesn't matter. Switch up the music. Every spin tonight's an 8 spot. You did great, you fought hard, you had fun, that's what matters. Thank you. I agree. Seventy-five and two fifty-four together, we'll have fun. I think we would have a fun KVK, honestly. If seventy-five and two fifty-four teamed up, I mean, I, I, you know, I don't know how they feel about us, but imagine playing for twenty-four hours straight. I mean, we've come pretty close. Yeah, we did the best we could. We all are. Um, To my knowledge, Bunny did not get zeroed, but Bunny was doing something very smart, I thought. It's actually smart... Well... I don't want to talk about the strategy too much because we're still in KVK, but... Uh, but what he was doing was really tactical. Remind me and I'll talk about exactly what it was when we're further on our KVK. Now, although it seems pretty unlikely we'll get the Zig at this point, I will say... I will say, yeah, go get your honor points now. I know. Um, the people have taken a lot of interest in our kingdom. I think we're going to have a pretty big migration into 75. I think we're going to have a pretty big migration in. And, you know, we're talking to some big players. Um, big. But we'll, we'll see if it pans out or not. Guan or Ramses? Yeah, I mean, it depends. Do you want infant go infantry route or archer route? The Zig rewards are Dodo. You know, I mean, the one thing that would be nice is to get some of these coins, right? The coins to get the gear from the shop. Right over here. Those, those would be nice to pick up, to be perfectly honest. 
Right? It'd be, it'd be nice to get a few more of these. In fact, while we're here, I'm going to regret this. How about I pick up these equipment material chests? Legendary equipment material chests. And, uh, let's see how this goes. Let's hope I don't get boned. Am I right? I hope I don't get boned. Do I open them one at a time? Please, no animal bones. Please. Stone! Hey, that's a win. Please! Don't bone me. Come on! Stone! Alright, 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 alright. No bones, please. Please, no bones. No! Come on! Jeez. F's in the chat for my bones. Jeez. You know what they say, third bone's a charm. Alright, well, that was three chests, one bone. No more bone. Wood. Please. Please! Stone! Come on! Huge thank you to our members that are renewing at this reset. A huge thank you to Stevens22, Logan Smith, Corey Spitzer, Sleeping B, BB, Murius13, Trenton H, Lost Me Mind, Leany, Harried, Harrits, sorry about that, Harrits, Blake, Maine, Bentley, Cosmic Gaming, Poe, Bernadette Morell, Chizato, J and uh, Jimmy. Thank you all for renewing your memberships. Gosh bless. No bone! Okay, leather. Good. No bone! Leather. Good. Please. Please! Stone. Good. Oh my god, come on. Come on! Oh, stone. Good. One more. Please. Please. Please not bone. Yes! Okay. One bone. Gosh bless. Still worth it for the materials, but good god. Let's do a force quit. And let's start spinning this wheel, shall we? Alright. Let's go unlock a new commander. There's no hiding the bone. All right. Here he is. Hey. Ooh, free. Free stone. Any other events of note? League bets are coming. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, let's get a counter going. Gold. Okay. Dude, we had so many members just renew. It's kind of amazing. But also, I apologize that everybody's looking at, like, a zillion shields flashing on the screen. Okay, they're done now. Eight spot on the free spin for you? Well, it didn't happen on the free spin. Come on. Okay. I, I could use training speed ups right now. It's not stone, it's metal. Yo, I'm so metal. Okay, here we go. I Dragothian, we're coming for you. We need eight spots. Boom, there's one. Okay, that's training speed ups. I'll take that. What do we got? Boom, there's two. Come on. This is a competition. Wood. Boo. And training speed ups are not that bad. Let's see here. The old epic counter. Instead of saying be right back, say. Uh, Zang, you sculpts. Two. And show. 
Whatever. We'll just, we'll just have that running over here. Okay. Now we can keep track of that as we go. We need to do way better than two. Is all I'm going to say about that. Boom! There's three. Come on, baby. Training speed ups and four. Let's go! Oh, right next to the eight spot. Come on! Still really good. Like, if every spin's like this, I don't care if I lose to Dragothian. We're up to four sculptures, baby. And we get some of these. Boom! Spin me. Let's go. Uh, almost. Training speed ups. And right next to the eight spot, 45 hours. I do really need speed ups. Food. I don't know what that was. That was probably bad. Building speed ups. Ugh. God, this is bad. We're in trouble. We're in some trouble over here. Okay. You got 28? 28? 28's good, man. Dude, look at that. I got 45 hours. 45 hours. 45 hours! Two st stars and wood. Oh, God. Dragothian's gonna dunk me. I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. Wait, were we gonna get invoice? Were we gonna were we gonna do these at the same time? Oh god, he got an eight spot. Dragothian definitely got at least an eight spot. David Smith, thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Love your streams and vids. Keep it up. Hey, cheers. Oh, God. Okay. Crazy Haggis, welcome to the Elite Guard. Yo. Yo, let's get those hype emojis. Welcoming Crazy Haggis as the newest member of the Honor Guard and a searching emoji to see who becomes the next member of the channel. Let's go. Yeah, we're getting a little wrecked here in these spins, Dragothian. Up to 12 already? Bruh. I'm getting wrecked. Come on, we need some eight spots. Let's go. Training speed ups. Wood? No. No building speed ups? Stone? Oh, oh boy. Hellwrap, thanks for the super chat. Your streams are relaxing after college work. Hey, cheers. Appreciate it. We are in trouble. This might be my worst set of spins. Oh, God. Spin once. I don't know that that does anything. Okay. Here we go. Restart the game. Five spot, please. Please. One, a universal. Doesn't count. Train ugh, building speed ups? No. Okay, that was a sculpture. We got a sculpture. This is so bad. Oh crap. We're halfway through our spins and we have five. Which means that in the next group of spins, we have to get a statistically improbable number of sculptures. Training speed ups. One sculpture. Okay. Come on. Nope. Nope. And you thought you were unlucky. Yeah, bro. 
Oh, it's content creator luck. You would have smashed your monitor if you got wrecked like that? Yeah, I should probably be upset. Restart. Please. Please, 8 spot, please. Only a trio of 8 spots can save us now. And by the way, the odds of that are like 1 in 200,000. No. 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 Sorry, a triple 8 spot in a 5 spin, the odds are 1 in... 12,500. It's 1 in 12,500. For a triple 8 spot in a single spin. Oh, God, that's gross. We're two-thirds of the way through, and we only have six sculptures, so that's alarming. Down. Stars Training speed ups Universal One Was that one? One This has to be my worst spins ever Well, keep it going, Shiskul. Keep it going, bro. Those sculptures don't count. If the 15 from those would have counted from here and here, I'd be fine. I assume Dragothian's not counting those, right? Yeah, rip me. Spin. Please. Single sculpture. Ooh, Max, thank you for the super pair. Single sculpture. There's one. Eight sculptures on the board. Nine sculptures on the board. I mean, that was a great spin, but only counts for two. Caveman 36 King! Welcome to the honor guard. Let's get those hype emojis welcoming the caveman. And it's just goes searching emoji to see who becomes the next member of the channel. Adam! Get the hype up! You can still take the W! Please, 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 no, that's a great spin, honestly, that's a great spin used to YouTube luck, come on, please, we need those eight spots, now wait a minute, wait, 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 does that include the chest, hold on, Jagothian has 28 out of 10, but that might include the chess. Hold on. If I can add the chess to this, I'm in much better shape. Did he include the chess or not? Adding the chess would give me a solid 15 on top of what I got here. I would not be so far off from what Dragothian has. Bro, bro, bro. If that includes the 15, does it? I'm waiting for the response. Because it hypes up the final spins a lot. What, what, you're... Dude, you sent me a screenshot of the summon thing with the 28 out of 10. Hold on, I'll show you. I'll just show you. I'll just show you. We gotta find out what, what counts or not. Okay. You see, he sent me this picture. He sent me this picture. Now, you're saying he didn't collect his chest as he went along? Maybe he didn't. I'm just waiting till he clarifies. Am I at nine? And need to get to 28? Or am I at 24 and need to get to 28? There's a big difference! That's without chess? I should just quit. I 
I should just quit. Oh, crap. All right. Nine it is, then. Nine, it needs to get to 28. We're playing for the one in 12,500 odds. Come on. Come on. Oh, no! It was right next to the eight spot. Twice it was. Come on! Two stars, one sculpture. One sculpture. Okay. Okay. Devils, thanks for the super chat. Content creator luck is a joke. Okay. How do I get out of this situation? If I were to get 16 sculptures, that's two eight spots. That would get me to 27 and he's at 28. So I need to get a single sculpture and two eight spots in order to even tie it up. Please. Come on. Give me the eight spot. Oh, no, that's so bad. Research meetups. One sculpture. Now I need two eight spots. Nope. Okay. There go my hopes and dreams. All right. I should just quit while I'm behind. Okay. There's no getting out of this situation. 3x research speedups. Just kick me while I'm down while you're at it. Gosh darn it. Let's just unlock him and we'll cry about it later. I feel so rewarded for spending my gems. Yay. Okay. Okay, let's summon this bad boy. See, it says 27 out of 10. If he collected them for this, but he's saying he didn't collect them. Jesus. All right, all right, all right. Summon. I'd lose either way. Either way, I would have lost to him. Zang you! Let's go. Bro. Skills. Upgrade. Cool. Let's go hit something. Writer of history, hold the phone. Must buy. Immediate. Do not pass go. Here we go. By the way, a uh, friendly reminder that if you're spending in a mobile game, please prioritize your real life stuff first. I'm no financial advisor, but saving for retirement, having an emergency fund, getting out of, staying out of credit card debt. Those are all really important things, everybody. Okay, here we go. We got some cool music at least, some tunes to ride this in with. Who do we use as the primary? What do you say we use Khan? Yeah, we got that saxophone vibe going. Little duck face for the camera there. Dude, where is it? Here he is. No. Did it do it? Oh, it did it. But it brought 94,000 troops. How did that happen? With infantry. What the? What the? Come on. Khan, thank you. Scroll to the bottom of the universe. Bro. Now keep in mind, I don't have any equipment on. This commander has got two skill ups because I couldn't get a sculpture to save my life. Bring in those cavalry. Family 90s sitcom music right there. Oh, yeah. That's how you know I'm old. All right. Are you all ready? For the active skill on Zhang Yu. Paired with Khan. What do we got? 
That was it? I mean, it's cool and all. It's like a pew pew and then a smack. Right? Like pew pew! And then a Okay, well. I guess we can't all be Attila. Guess we, guess we can't all be Attila. Bunny is rallying with the new commander. Of course he is. I guess we go check that out. XY go pew pew. All right, where's that new commander at? Where are those rallies? There's Bunny. Yeah, that's the new animation. Chandra Gupta with the new commander, Zhang Yu. What's worth more, spinning Alex 15 times or unlocking a new legendary and buying the $5 bundle? Well, that's going to give you 10 sculptures. So if you wanted the other commander, that's a pretty good situation. Look how fast the skill activates. I mean, it looks pretty standard. Who's winning? It's kind of hard to tell. You really have to see the report. We'll see if they put the report in 100 mil chat. Happy to feature it. Eager to feature it. I guess I can hide my counter. Lol, what a joke. Shouldn't Zhang be the primary due to the rage requirement? That's possible. Let me see if I can get a hold of that report. Uh, yep. Got it. Maybe? Got it. Yeah. Courtesy of 365, the rally report. Now, obviously, it's not an Alexander the Great and Khan and the garrison. Okay. They might have had that in there for a second. But we saw it was Zenobia YSS or was it Theodora? Which one was it? Either way... That combination is not changing the meta. It, it is mobilizing cavalry in a way that perhaps we couldn't mobilize them before. The Cav stats for Bunny. 124% health is pretty legit. 140% defense and a 239% attack. Yeah. There's Bunny. Down to 81 million power. Jeez.
10 million kill points. That's crazy. Let me get a look in that whale chat again. See if there's any other stuff going on here. Zang Khan, people are saying, or you lose a lot of potential. Gotta try the Khan Zang. Yeah. Okay. Well, I let them know that a ton of people are watching live. Let's see what they rally with next, huh? Possibly a Saladin combo would be the way to go. Could be. I mean, no doubt they're setting the rally right away here. Zang Trajan? I feel like Trajan is not ideal for hitting a flag, right? Like, he's all about buffing other marches. You would have thought Chandra with Zang Yu would have been the best possible combo. And it still took bad trades. Yeah, I mean... I don't know, man. How much power has this dude lost? Holy schnucks. Zangbot was like 500 million power. Dude has lost 300 million power. That's a little crazy. I don't think Zang William is a thing either. William's not... I don't think he's amazing for rallying in this meta right now. Not at least without a multi-rally going on. Check this guy's highest power. Sure. 500 million power. Yeah. Check Bunny's highest power and deaths. Sure. 87 million de <laughs> dead troops, and it's mostly T5, I'm sure. 363 million power at max. For perspective, I feel like I have a pretty decent amount of dead troops, and I'm at 19 million. So... See that rally come in, huh? Zhang is in their LKC challenging people to duels. Ooh. Here we go. Now he's the primary with a William secondary. Okay. That does not look like it's going well. Call me crazy. That does not look like it's going well. Glass cannon. Right? Like, I don't think Saladin is 
honestly the play. Oh god, Guan Captain. Mistakes were made, Guan Captain. Where'd that Zenobia go? Oh, now they're getting dunked. Uh-oh. Ah, Captain problems here. Oh. Well, that report is basically invalidated now for the purposes of learning because they just got so many dead troops with that. Yeah, you want to see Khan paired with it? Dude, that rage engine is out of control. His cone is nice, though. Yeah, I mean, the AoE effect is nice. It'll do better in field combat? Maybe. I mean, it is firing off the skills very quickly. Right? Like, there's the primary. There's the secondary. There's the primary. There's the secondary. There's the primary. Four, five, six. So it's like a six second skill cycle. I wonder if he's using the horn. For my five, 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 one salad, and what do you prefer? William, Takeda, XY? I mean, I, I think right now William is really good. But if you wanted damage over utility, well, I mean, they both have utility. So Zhang Yu has an AoE debuff. That's a form of utility. William has an AoE buff. They both, they both are very similar, honestly. I'm going to assume Bunny has some expertise and that Bunny would not launch a rally with an unexpertise commander. One fourteen is fighting at the pass with Zhang Khan. Hold on. Of course, one fourteen would use him, and our allies get to. Okay. Is that Khan? Our allies are dealing with this for the first time. This is in my KVK. I can't tell who the secondary is. Yeah, it's Khan. Oh, dang. And they're buffing him with Trajan. Look at that. They're even doing a Trajan Mulan buff. Ooh, they ran it to extinction. Oh, I'd love to get my hands on that report. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where where are my reports at? Um, could I get that XY report? Got it. Oof. So keep in mind that this is <laughs> this is with Trajan and Mulan buffs. That rally is getting Trajan and Mulan buffs. Whoops. So that's not working.
Look at the power differential, too. The defender's obviously using a ton of T4. The attacker's all T5. Right? You see that power differential? The dead troops are almost the same. The hospital's almost the same. Look at that power differential, though. <laughs> yeah, Genghis Khan. Yeah. Khan is not making a comeback, is he? And the defenders are using Siege? Stop it. Oh, they're even using Siege. They're even using Siege. Oh, that's... That's a little bit of a... Whoa, boy. And they're using T2 Siege units. Gross. T2 Siege... T1 Siege units! God, those T1 Siege units really dirtying this report. Oh, God. I mean, use what you have. I'm just... I'm just saying it makes the death counts look totally different. Uh, so Khan, Khan Zhang Yu uh, is terrible as a rally combo. Oh, wow. I mean, that's, that's right. And what are these guys using? T5, T4, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, uh, 4, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5, 4, 4, blend, 5, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5, I mean, it's mostly T5s. Oof. Yeah, they did also have infantry in the rally. Did you see that? I saw that. Where was that? I was pretty sure that was infantry somewhere. Wasn't it? Did they have infantry? No. Where was the... I thought I saw infantry, but maybe I'm just seeing things. That's all cavalry. That's all calves. Oh, up at the top, it'll say. Sure. Does it say up at the top? near the top oh there it is whoopsies serenity is not going to be feeling so serene after that whoopsies so who knows if the rally's any good they had infantry in the rally gosh bless it couldn't tell ya F's for the rally. But hooray for our allies. Let me um see if I can get you some more reports. We want the bunny report. The bunny report. Where? Where is the bunny report? Oh, yeah, no. Our allies are dropping their messages in the whale chat, too. Whales. Okay. So, I mean, hard to say what the heck happened in this report. The bunny report! I mean, like, they had Guan Song for a time, so... How much stock do we put in this? Bunny is doing Zhang Khan? Cool. Oh man, 79 is sending heat into the zone. That's bold. Where, wait, which way was it going? I thought it was going over here. This is like a head fake. Whoa, where are they going? Uh oh. Or should I say, Echo? Oh my goodness. Oh, this flag? That's bold. Are they double rallying this flag? What are they doing? Oh, well, I'm intrigued. Oh, 
we'll look at the bunny report in a second. I'm sure we'll we'll get a, a access to that. Where are they going? Uh oh. That's 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 a bold burn there. Both of these are pretty bold burns. I don't know that that's going to work. Yeah, you probably got to cancel this one. And then this one probably has got to get canceled, too. I mean, just there's no way to reinforce those rallies, you know? Yeah, I mean, Attila gets wrecked by the meta. Yeah, they cancel them both. Now, I'm going to have to smash a lot of barbs today for the old mightiest governor. But obviously, this is what you want to see, so we got to focus on this. We got 1,946 of you in the chat. Hey, if you're enjoying this stream, do me a favor. Throw a like on here. Throw a like on this stream and subscribe for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos designed to help you get value and smash your enemies. We're scheduled for our arranged Mightiest Governor for me to get first. I will almost certainly expertise Yadviga and start testing with her. You're not going to want to miss that. So subscribe. All right? All right? Let's go. Holy moly. I bet you they're figuring out I wonder if they're, like, assessing that rally report and they're like, oh, man, that was so bad. I wonder if they figured out that there was infantry. Do you think they knew that the in, the whole rally report was ruined by the infantry? You, you, can't, you cannot have another troop type in a con rally. Almost for that reason alone, it's kind of like, ugh, can we even launch con rallies? Someone's always going to mess that up. Nebu as good as Artemisia in the open field? I mean, they're different. I think you're going to get more damage dealt with Nebu. Especially in an arc mid brawl, but he's squishier, so... There's downsides there. Guan Herald or Alex Herald? I think Alex Herald is better. Are all of our Mightiest Governors arranged? Y no, they're not. In some cases, we will skew it a little bit with some training, like our last Mightiest Governor. Can, can I see the history of Mightiest Governor? I don't think I can see it now. Our last Mightiest Governor was, was like, arranged, but you had to earn your spot with killing. And if you couldn't, then, like, too bad. Like, we're not going to stop anybody from fighting. So I ended up taking first, and I felt kind of bad because Groggy was supposed to get first. But, like, I also pulled down, like, 500 million kill event points, so. Um, let me see if there's another bunny report. This is not a bunny report. This is a report from one of my allies. But this isn't really a valid report because it's probably not a reinforced rally. We know it's not a reinforced rally because we're watching it unfold right now. And we know that they can't get there to reinforce the rallies by the fort. So that's not one to look at and learn from. Let's see if we have anything else over here. Here's another Chandra Khan. Or not Chandra. XY Khan. It did not go well. 
It, it's not a thing, people. Here's the bunny report. It does not look like it's a thing. I think he's just a good open field commander. Right? I think he's just good for open field. We'll see if these guys can figure out how to crack him, but... Does he have all cavalry on the rally? I mean... I'd hate to see what happens to a player in Bunny's Kingdom when they send the wrong troop type to the rally, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, they got all cav. How can he be good debuffing his own march speed by 60%? Because he has other things that buffs his march speed too. So it works out. Okay. I don't know that they're doing anything over here. Uh, can we see the battle log from the bunny rally? All right. I could, I could geek out on the battle log. Is that what you want to do, chat? We're back to Chandra XY here. How good is Guan Leo? This is a very good combination for open field. Why is no one talking about Saladin? I, I don't know. Saladin's extremely good. I think Saladin would be pretty good here. Um, I think Saladin could be okay. Chisco, bro, we need a better answer about Nebu or Artemisia in the field. Who's the best to invest in? Look, they both have pros and cons. Like, it's not a, a cut and dry thing. The advantage of Artemisia is that she has instant proc damage when she's expertise. This is good. That makes it so that sometimes when you're in a fight and somebody taps you a couple seconds, you can do some damage per second to them, which is good. She's also got the defense tree. So as a primary, she's very tanky. This is good. She's got AOE. This is good. She's even got a little bit of healing if you choose those talents, although most people won't. Okay. Now on the other side, Nebu. Where the heck is that rally? Okay, gotta zoom out. We got a little punch for punch situation. You rally my flag, I'll rally your flag. Well, you wanted some XY rallies. Here's two of them at the same time. Thank you, Francisco. Appreciate it. Now, Nebu, on the other hand, he does have defense. He does have march speed. That is lacking on the part of the Artemisia. The Artemisia doesn't have the march speed. And although he has defense, he's not as tanky as the Artemisia is. So I think you get more damage from a Nebu in an AoE brawl. And you get better tankiness from an Artemisia. Just like the difference between Khan and Saladin. Except that I would argue that both Nebu and Artemisia are usable in the open field. And I would say Khan really is not. <laughs> so maybe that's a little, a little much. Yeah, they, they, you're, yeah, they've done Zang Khan. It didn't go well. Yeah, counter rally on the rally now is going to really dirty up the report. So once again, it's going to be hard to learn. Well, I mean, if, if the rally still does well, then that would tell us that it's really, really good. Why not uh, XY is the primary? I'm not sure. I'm not so sure. Artemisia and Nebu are good together. Yeah, I have used them together. They are strong together. 
I use them together and use the 5% skill damage accessory. Stay lazy. What's up, dude? You already maxed the Cav Commander? Dang. Cutting the healing on this garrison doesn't really matter. Because, like, dude, you got, you got a 200 million power player who was once a 500 million power player that can just dump troops into this thing endlessly, you know? The minor rage difference you get from XY as primary isn't enough to offset the 40% damage boost that Chandra adds to his cast. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty logical. Artemisia E-Song or Ramsey's E-Song? I use Ramsey's E-Song. Let me get the report. What do we got? Huge thank you to 365 for sharing these reports and allowing us all to enjoy them. Okay. What are we looking at? Oof. Now, granted, at some point in time, they had a Wu Zetian, which is even worse. That makes this even less compelling, I feel. I mean, I don't know what to say. We're not seeing an answer here. He has expertise. Bunny did tap the expertise button, so it's got the expertise skill. Not that uh, any YouTuber you know has messed that one up before. Do you think archers are the best way to invest more than infantry? I like my infantry. I mean, are we talking about rallying? Because this to me looks like you'd still... I, this gives you a way to mobilize your calves that you didn't have before. But for all the people that were giving me a hard time about like, Oh, Chiskul, you're overhyping Zenobia. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Zenobia is amazing. It was woo most of the time. Wow. Why are they not rage buffing their own rally? It's a pain in the butt, but you are correct that unless they're getting harassed in the field, which they might be. I mean, look at all these cities around here. But if they're not getting harassed in the field, I mean, like... Above and beyond any change you could make to the rally combo, just Joan Trajan buffing your rally would go a really long way. Why is Yadviga mobility? I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Yeah, Xeno isn't overhyped. She's the meta. Bro. P Dude, in our kingdom, people were using... They're like, oh, I don't have any good garrison commanders. I... I have Zenobia, Zenobia E-Song, and we're like, good enough, use it! And it did great. It did beautifully. Traded positive. Almost always. The only time you don't trade positive with a Zenobia is if you don't reinforce it. Even without tech. Oh, by the way. One sec. Let me get you that report of the Attila William. You want to see that Attila William? report at the start do I have it uh no I don't have it okay what do I have no let's go back to the pass Yeah, but when can you ever trade positive with no reins? Right. Why is Baba's picture there? Well, 
We rotate on our wall the legendary guard members of our channel. We appreciate their support. Also, is my AP capping? No, good. Good. Best use for AP bottles is in KVK, baby. I need to go grind a ton of barbs for Mightiest Governor and to get some honor. I need to get honor with the premium barbs while we still have access to some of these zones, which I hope will be for a long time, but I don't know how long it's going to be. And it's, you know, barb day, so like, yeah, okay, I'll go spend a bunch of AP. Now, if we look at the combos here, let's just review what the heck this commander does. I'm sure everybody could use a little refreshing. Active skill, 1,700 damage, 30% defense reduction, hits multiple targets. Sick, right? Next skill, cavalry attack of 40% and a march speed boost of 15%. When attacked, they have a 20% chance. That's a one in five chance to gain march speed. Triggers every five seconds. We already spun the wheel of the max amount and ended up with a tiny amount of sculptures. Conqueror of all. Wow, bold. While attacking strongholds. So this would apply to a flag. They get a 5% damage increase. Normal attacks have a 10% chance to deal a direct damage factor of 400, which can trigger at most once every three seconds. The fourth skill, while on the map, the active skill cost is reduced by 50 rage, and when using the active skill, troops led by this commander will gain a stack of cavalry damage plus 5%. Stacks up to six times, which is cavalry damage of 30%. That is solid. You also lose march speed. Doesn't matter for the rally, obviously. Unbeatable Warlord, although that's kind of a joke. He's looking fairly beatable right now. Troops led by this commander will deal 10% extra skill damage. So yeah, skill damage is good. And whenever troops have gained a rage buff for more than one turn, their skill damage will increase by 10% for three seconds. So... This absolutely feels like a rally that you need to have a Trajan or a Joan buffing off to the side, don't you think? I mean, you're gonna get 10% extra skill damage and all the rage. I mean, do you see what I'm saying? Hashtag bunny watch. XY with Yadviga is the combo for rallies? You think so? You think Yadviga? The mobility commander? I think you'd want her be to, to be the primary though, right? For three seconds, she boosts damage. Oh. Yeah, so there is synergy there. Yadviga is going to give you rage over time. Zhang is like, dude, Zhang has no defensive capability. So like, yeah, he's getting a little bit wrecked. X, Y, and Alex. Oh God. Yadviga is the play. Loving the EDM vibes. Hey, cheer. Cheers. Payton88! Tell Hofdad to smash that like button. Hey, Hofdad! Smash that like button, baby, if you're enjoying this stream. And consider subscribing for those daily Rise Games videos designed to help you get value. And smash your enemies! After this rally, you will go look at Yadviga's kit and see if there's something in there that would help us. Heck, I'll see if I can pull it up somewhere else. Okay. So she's got a direct damage factor of 1,500 and a damage bonus of 20% for three seconds. 
While on the map, she's got some extra march speed. And... 10% defense? I mean, that's pretty bad. Holy blessing. Skill damage taken is reduced by 10%. That's okay against Xeno YSS, but not amazing. Troops led by this commander gain 10% extra skill damage. And when they take skill damage, they restore 150 rage. That only can, it's really 50 rage per second for 3 seconds and triggers at most once every 8 seconds. Troops led by this commander deal 10% increased damage to rallied troops. I'm not excited about it for a rally. When the active skill is used, damage taken is reduced by 10%. That's nice, but like... I'm not seeing it. All right, let me get that report. So many chats happening right now. Everybody's trying to crack this thing. Everybody's trying to crack this thing. A huge thank you again to 365 for sharing the report. Well, apparently there was a, a Herald Alex in there at some point, and the rally still traded po uh, negative. Sorry. The rally traded negative, Garrison traded positive. So... I don't know, folks. Does Zhang have the coin? Do they have the... <laughs> uh, you know. They're gathering kills. That's what they're gathering. Refund for new Cav Commanders, please. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, the one optimization that I think that, if at all possible, TR really needs to activate on right now is having the buffing march off to the side. It feels like they've got such dominant field control. They can get a free 10% skill damage on top of the fact that, like, yeah, the buffs are really good. I bet you those reports would start to turn positive by a couple hundred thousand kills if they had those buffs. Sent you the pass report with 79. Nice, hold on. Huge thank you to our allies in 79. Ah yes, we did see this report. We did see this report. This is the one from earlier. I'm debating if I should say this. I don't know. I'm just not going to say it. I'll just not say it. This is a fun live stream. I was not expecting this is what we'd be doing right now. Say it? I mean, we'd have to get some more likes on the stream. If we get to 600 likes, I'll say it. I'll say it at 600 likes. We're so close. That, that would be a sneeze. Oh, 
All right, we get to say it. Here's the report. You know, look. This trade seems highly irregular to me. This trade really feels highly irregular. Also, for those of you missing the context around that, this picture is intended to mock me. When I was going to not at all talk about the diplomacy process with Kingdom 114, they created a campaign to mock me with this particular photo. Apparently, Chiskul is chestnut in some translation. So a crying chestnut with a bite out of its head, that's supposed to be me. It says highly irregular underneath. So guess who's mocking who now? Ha ha ha! Dude, Negan's at a best. I mean, I don't think we've ever fought against a kingdom that led a more widespread anti Chiskul campaign. And I was just trying to be nice. I was trying to not talk about the fact that they lied to us and then sought out some other deal behind our backs. But whatever. Fine. I'll just call it what it is now because they're... Whatever. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Candy, for becoming a member of the Honor Guard. Yo, let's get those hype emojis and a Chiskel searching emoji. See who becomes the next member of the channel. Candy, thank you. And paid an 88. 2070 is recruiting fighters. Contact 2070R4 for more information. Hold on. Paging all fighters, Kingdom 2070 is recruiting. Contact 2070R4 for more information. This public service announcement brought to you by Payton88. Hofdad! Thank you for the super chat. Definitely smash that like button. Tell Payton88 to always blame Amazon. This is Chiskel Bay. Oh my god. This is Chiskel Gaming paging Payton88. This is just a reminder to always blame Amazon. Payton88, always blame Amazon. Thank you. All right. Well, that was fun. All right. Come on, chestnut. Infantry in your cav rally, bro. But you're, dude, dude, they're the ones with the campaign to mock me. I tried to, to, to never talk about it ever again and leave it at highly irregular. That was my plan. It was irregular. That's all I was going to say about it. And I was going to move on with life. And then these guys went and did their bad mouthing campaign fine everybody wants to make fun of chess school mandingo I wish you guys would have met 114 right away. We would have loved to have fought 114 one-on-one -on -one right away. We would have loved to have done that. Loved it. Especially after watching how they're fighting 79. Oh my god. I'll make I'll I'll put it in a video, man. No, I, I, dude. I mean like earlier today, all right? Earlier today. I'll tell some stories while we're watching this. Dude, these folks from 114 are like hitting a flag over and over and over and over and over. For like an hour, they're just like hitting this flag. Which is filling everybody's inbox with stupid your flag is empty reports, okay? And so Jeeds and, and Ruse are like, fine, F these guys. And they teleport over and fill the flag. But the guys hitting the flag didn't notice that it had been filled or whatever. And they lost a million troops. It was amazing. I have the report on video. I'll put it in a video at some point. Thani, thank you for the super chat. Albert Zhang, how big is the difference between Zeno Wu Zetian and Zeno YSS? Massive. It's massive. If you have Zeno, do that first. Zeno Wu will still be solid. But I think you'll get more value from the YSS. I really do. 
Okay. Um, however, I would wait, like, now that Yadviga's, like, almost on the table, I would just wait a little bit, okay? I would just wait a little bit. Just wait until we see what Yadviga can do before you max anything else, Albert. That would be my recommendation. Creepy R. Kelly, trash spins for trash rally, Commander. But here's for you. Here's five for your chestnut. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Tim. 1786 in the house. Looking forward to our fourth KVK. Nice, Tim. Get him. Reza, highly irregular fighting abilities. I just wanted to leave it at that one comment that it was highly irregular. Because it was. That's all I wanted to do. Ghost says that 114 is all muscle, but uh, yeah, you know, we'll we'll just we'll just read the first part. I mean, <sighs> you know, every kingdom has the wrong troop show up in the rally. Like it's true. Like our kingdom had that happen more times than I would like to admit, but it's but it is true. Right? These these things happen. They do. It's okay. I don't I don't want to be like creating like a you know. I don't know. Let's let's all make love and peace, not war. Except the fighting in game, that's fine. I don't want I don't want trash talk. You know what I mean? Gosh darn it. Uh, they, had all, they got all kinds of pictures of a chestnut in different positions. It's interesting. For some definition of interesting. Uh, <laughs> EQ, lol. Chisco will do a flip. I have a friend who can do a flip, which is pretty wild. It's sort of like a party trick he busts out every now and then. He used to be really into parkour. What am I drinking? Just seltzer. Nothing nothing crazy. Red wine? No. Nothing crazy. Here's the counter rally. Archer counter rally? With cavalry in it. See, even... I'm telling you, all kingdoms make this mistake of having the wrong troop type in the rally. The JST coalition has calves in their archer rally. It happens to everybody. So, like, let's just be clear. This, this happens to the best of us. Blaze, how's it going, dude? Hope you're doing well. How do I stand that long? I have a standing mat. It helps a lot. Link is in the description for everything I use for content creation, including the standing mat. Oh, looks like a captain refresh over here. Do they mean to do this with their captain? Maybe they're just trying to get a fast trip home. Yeah, okay. They just wanted the fast trip. It's not that far, but okay. I bet Chisquil won't read this. You bet wrong. 1079, up and coming kingdom. Yeah, the, dude, the water camp's awesome. Chair is chair, my man. Yeah, maybe I should use a chair. Let me see if I, um... Well, you haven't heard of a standing map before? Oh my god, it'll change your life. Standing maps will change your life. Hands down. Yeah, let me get this report. Let me get this report. Courtesy again. Yura, 
of uh, 1365 in the whale chat. Oof. I mean, it's probably better than a Tolotakeda, but not by much. Can 75 win this KVK? 75 can't win this KVK. It, it would t it's an all war camp effort to win a KVK. Every war camp has to fully activate to win this KVK. Can that be done from our position now? I don't know. Aqua Goat and NF Tart. Crypto for the win. I'm not a financial advisor, by the way. Oh, Tim, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. What is Bunny doing? I mean, Bunny's trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work. I'm sure he's testing. K K75 may not win this KVK, but they sure did win our hearts. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that and we'll be open to migrations in Kingdom 75. Big group on its way in. It's 22 days before any of that even starts to come to fruition, but there are some big players that are interested in the kingdom. 22 days is a long time. People change their mind. Who knows what's going to happen? But we are looking to bring fighters into Kingdom 75. We're now pretty far out of Imperium, so... Exclamation migrate will get you a link to our migration discord if you're interested in that. Throw a like on the stream if you're enjoying this. <laughs> Exclamation standing, Matt. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hold on. Yeah, it's kit.co slash chiskool. Link's also in the description. See all the gear I use. All of it. Zeno Martell on the field. That's a, a combo, all right. Uh, if you're looking for Martell talent builds, we're, I mean, obviously, we're a little busy at the moment covering these rallies. In everything that's going on in these different locations. Let me just um, update my bunny marker over here. That's not the button that updates the marker. Let's actually update the marker. Bunny. Friend. The bunny frontline marker. As I'm about to sneeze. Sneeze. Uh, I don't need to switch characters, but I do need to go to this pass. <sighs> okay, what do we got? Oh, our allies are pushing out. Don't worry, people. This song is going to heat up. It's going to be all right. Look, I think this commander is probably just an open field commander. From what I'm seeing in these reports so far. That or we don't have the right talents or we haven't figured out how to really get it done yet with this commander. Maybe it's supposed to be Moctezuma secondary. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or am I kidding? Moctezuma. Oh, Makhti. Battle of the Forts over here. Dean Ellis. Bunny and Zhang should have TP'd to a corner and duked it out 1v1. Settled it like the champions during ancient times to save their armies. You know, you ain't wrong. Zhang. 
This song is called Distorted Reality. Mateo, welcome to the stream. We've got a cool 1,800 people watching live. As the new Commander Zang Yu is used for rallies, we're watching that happen in our own KVK with our allies in the water camp. Also watching that unfold in Bunny's Kingdom. 254. Battling against Chuni. I, I hear that Moctezuma Charlemagne is a real banger. Hey yo. Right, Martell talent. If you'd like to see my Martell talents, I have a dedicated video. Is Martell good in 2021 or 2020? It's going to have every build explained in depth way better than I can do for you on the fly. And it's got timestamps to get you exactly to the builds. So just do a quick search for Chiskul Gaming and uh, Mar Charles Martell on YouTube. And that'll get you what you need. Reza, hey. Welcome to the Honor Guard. Let's get those hype emojis for Reza and also a Chiskel searching emoji to see who becomes the next member of the channel. Thank you for renewing your membership. Appreciate it. I love Chiscake. Uh-oh. Chiscake is going to be a new meme. Look out, world. Oh, by the way. Hello. Do a little of this, a little of that. A little knock out some of this. Free reset over here. A little collecty of this. A little collecty of that. Live from 1079. Been a pleasure to ally with you this KVK. Hey, Jordan, cheers. It's Distorted Reality by F O O L. Meeks, thank you for the super chat. Wondering, is the new commander worth spinning for? Doesn't look like it so far. They might be good in the open field, but they're not getting the job done from a rally standpoint. Zenobia is impenetrable. Wink. Luis. Welcome to the Honor Guard. Let's get those hype emojis. Welcoming our newest member in a searching emoji to see who becomes the next member of the channel. Look at Lost Canyon. Man, all I've done with Lost Canyon is collect my rewards. I don't think I've played it in a really long time. Yeah. I just have... De I don't even have gear on. I just have a lot of defensive victories. I haven't done any attacking because I don't have any gear. But gosh bless, that's a nice defense if I... I mean... Right? Come at me, bro. Come at me. But I'm rank 164 because I, you know, no gear on my commanders. All my gears on my fighting commanders rather than my canyon lineup. Got to be ready to fight. Bunny do rally. Bunny do rally, baby. Let's go check out the bunny rallies. Show us that defense. Bru nah, it's not that good, man. I'm overhyping it. I I'm I'm rank 164. It's like a whole nother world of attackers compared to when I'm, you know, pushing up at rank 50. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not that good. But I will show it to you. We'll just show it to you real quick. Artemisia Ram on the off lane. Trajan with Constantine, tanks like an MFR. Richard Harold, top lane tank. Guan with Alex, when you're on defense, marches swing up. So it's going to swing up. Nebu Esong, just to hit everybody with everything. Did I just save my defense? Defense. Back. Are you sure you want to quit? Oh, good. Yeah, I didn't save it. It's good I didn't save it because I don't have my equipment on. So if I save it now, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, it's a decent lineup. I tried other stuff with the Trajan on the front line. It did not do well. I tried Trajan with Ethel. It was not so good. Ethel is really good with Trajan. I just couldn't get it to work. This flag. Oof. Let's go to get that rally report, shall we? The Siege is in the Constantine rally there because... 
Uh, thank you again, Yura, from 365, for the report. Con uh, the, the siege unit's in there to slow down the Trajan Constantine. The Richard is really uh, slow, and Trajan gets his hasty departure talents, so it, it messes up the rows, right? I, I end up with, with two front rows that are, like, really staggered, and I need them to be more like this. Prospect! Welcome to the Honor Guard. Yo, let's get those hype emojis. Welcoming Prospect to the Honor Guard and a searching emoji. To see who becomes the next member of the channel. Let's go, baby. Welcome. Report time. I mean... I'm sure they're trying different talents, different builds. I just said the same thing twice, two different ways. Why not Constantine first? Uh, Trajan has some nice talents for bringing mixed troops, whereas Constantine does not. James Corbett! Welcome to the Honor Guard! Let's get those hype emojis for James, newest member of the Honor Guard, and a searching emoji to see who becomes the next member of the channel. Let's go. Trajan is not meta. Oh my god, their name is Trajan is not meta. The problem with Trajan is that he's bad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Lol, Trajan is not meta. Well, thank you for the super chat. I humbly disagree with your position on the Trajan meta. My assertion is that he's exceptional. Good in the field, good to buff rallies, which is, again, still what I would love to see these guys doing. But uh, we didn't do it that much. It's just such a pain in the ass. You kind of get to some people that are, like, dedicated rally buffers. <laughs> oh, God. My member tab is not working. You know, try from a PC. That might help, or laptop. Using a mobile device sometimes gets a little funky. Pre-KVK Marauders always start on the first three, or I guess it's two days of Eve of the Crusades. So whenever your Eve of the Crusades is going to start, it's the first two days of that. So I talked about our KVK at the start of this stream and the strategic position we're taking right now. I do have an update from Baba about whether or not he's quitting. He got a bunch of messages from folks encouraging him to continue playing. And he did decide he's going to continue playing. Am I going to make a dedicated commander guide for Zhang Yu? Definitely. Although, what I'm watching here is certainly going to inform it. Khan Zhang might be good in the field, but it's not doing the job for rallies. Buff the rally with Trajan Mulan. That'd be nice. Have you seen Seven Bao from 2010? I have not. Did you expect 365 to hold against 254? I mean, I don't know what I expected this KVK. What I will say is that battling one kingdom into four is extremely difficult. Justin, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Thank you. Number one doge. Yes, let's go, baby. Uh, you know, we battled three kingdoms into six, right? And I, I got to give a shout out to our allies in our war camp, this KVK. They were exceptional, right? Kingdom 47, kingdom 16. They did some work. 
Three kingdoms into six was hard. Even after they were weakened, one of those war camps, three of the kingdoms, they were weakened by our allies significantly. It's just very hard to deal with so many kingdoms. They say you can't rally a flag without having the field. Obviously, right now, Bunny's kingdom has the field, so they can rally flags. But how the heck are you supposed to get the field against four kingdoms? Which is what Bunny's kingdom is doing now. Is there a commander that can counter Alex in KVK2? Uh, you talking about open field? Archers should do the job. Is it worth spending 100,000 AP for Marauders? If you're not thinking you're going to push Honor in KVK, and you have enough AP left, that you can still get all the Honor you need in KVK, then that's fine. It's just 254 versus 365? Really? I mean, I know this flag is 254, 365, but did the other kingdoms just kind of back out of the zone and let them have a 1v1? Because that'd be kind of cool. How could love wear so, thin? so yes, if the registration for SO8 says season starts in 48 hours, pre-KVK will start then. Yes, and you will have Marauders at that time. Someone says, come on, Bone. Oh, gosh. Ryan Miller. Thank you for the super chat. Zang Trajan. Trajan Rage to support the Zang. I don't know. I mean, maybe. But I'm not hyped about it. That might be an Ark of Osiris combo. Can Guan Leo counter Zenobia? Maybe, but in our KVK, it certainly didn't. Soon the counterattack begins again. Well, there we go. Right now it's early in the morning, I think, in Korea. Where is Chuni? He's usually streaming morning my time. So he might be sleeping. Nebu, mightiest governor in full effect. What should I make out of clay in my art class? Um, you could make the Julius Caesar sword. Would that be cool? It's 1031 in the morning in Korea. Okay, cool. Should I dismantle Amulet of Eternal Night? Probably not. Not for anything. I would just try to find the places where it's good and use it there. Unless you are a mega, mega, mega whale. Dismantling an accessory just feels so costly to me. Is Charles good as a garrison? In the early game, yes, but he'll fade into the mid and late game. So like KVK season, like three and beyond, his role is gonna fade fast. Ooh. These rallies though, let me get the report. You dismantled your hellish weapon and got it talented? Dang. You're whalier than I am. Okay, let's see here. Waiting for that report to hopefully show up. They might have just stopped sharing them because they're like, eh, it's the same thing over and over. What do you need to see? Yeah, hasn't showed up yet. Okay. Well. Well. Yeah, no, I mean, it's... 
No new reports. No new reports. All right, let's go back in game. Make our way back to the pass. What garrison commanders do I use for my city? YSS Theo. For a flag, I would recommend Xeno YSS. Oh, I love this song. It's one of my favorites. Can I turn it up? Just a little. Remind me I did this. I mean, like, I'm about ready to start barbing pretty soon here. <laughs> I gotta barb a lot right now. Nice sweater. Can I have it? Uh, no. You can't have it, but thank you. Wow. Xeno YSS. I can only have one for city defense. Hmm. I mean, I would do the Xeno because you can use it for your city and you can use it as the premium captain for everything else. Yeah, I'm excited for new city themes. It's a pullover. Yes, it is a pullover. Do I... St <laughs> is it time to start barbing? For Mightiest Governor? Is that where we're at? I don't even know what five marches I would use. Oh, man, and I almost forgot to get all these goodies. Hello. Hello. What should you prioritize for Crystal Tech? Actually, don't prioritize your Crystal Tech. Prioritize your Crystal Mine. Get your mine maxed out as fast as possible. From there, you work on tech. I know that's not what you ask. Now, one thing we need to do that we didn't do is check Kingdom 2 to see if there's any new events. I assume there isn't, but uh, just in case, let's get a look-see. New commander with Takeda. Actually, you have my attention. Why not Takeda? Chat, what do you think of Takeda? What do you think about Takeda? It's tanky. Tanky's good. Look at this. The um, Warpath event gives Sovereign Keys in Kingdom 2. Kind of nice. Oh, I got eight of these. Whatever. Let's rip them. Saladin. Zhang Minna? I don't know. That does not excite me. Uh, okay. I think that was Khan. Tamaris. And gold. Whatever. Send out the gatherers. Switch back to the main account. This account, I mean, it's good for information gathering in Kingdom 2.
back to my main. All right, I need barbing marches and I'm gonna spend probably a stupid amount of action points, which I feel a little weird about, but I'm gonna do it because I kind of need to, I guess. I just want a lot of march speed and I don't care about leveling up commanders really. But I don't want to be like so much faster than all my other marches, you know? Minamoto. And if I'm going to smash a ton of barbs, then every one of my commanders needs to have the talents that give you extra resources because obviously... Ugh, see, Minamoto doesn't have them. Trophy Hunter. We gotta have that Trophy Hunter. What the heck build am I using? It's some sort of fort build I concocted. Oh. That's a heck of a fort build. What about double C? Darn it. Nothing. I've gotta have some peacekeepers that have that, right? Who else is a peacekeeper? I got booty on the field already. I got belly on the field. I could do Kira with some cavalry. Life's too short to not take risks. <laughs> Joel, how's it going? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. We got a cool 1,600 people hanging out with us. You're surprised I still use Minamoto? Yeah, I know. He's fine. He's fine. Saladin, I don't care. Get out there, buddy. Thoughts on XY as a rallier? Doesn't look so, doesn't look good so far. Not looking so good. How's our KVK? Uh, you know. Oh, I haven't used Boudica yet. Easy. That's how I get my value. And now I'll just use someone fast, like a double C. And now I'm gonna spend AP. A lot of it. Smashing barbs. Because I think I have access to higher level barbs in this zone. That I won't have access to otherwise. Although, are they all just dead already? Oh! 55 barbs? Mmm, that's what I'm talking about. Dude, we got to get those 55 barbs going. That's what I'm talking about. Boudica, come on, pick up the pace. I should have march speed balanced these. And I probably even should have used an expansion. I have six marches. Oh, right. Oh, that's awesome. Sure. I'll use Minamoto. F it. I don't care. There's no way I can get some Cav March Speed, is there? Little burst when I leave combat with the buy bars. Six marches. Man, I'm not used to that. You've never seen AP go so stupidly fast. Dragon Lancer? Oh, I'm not trying. Bro. Bro. I even have a Kingdom Healing buff for some reason. Sweet. Yeah, I debated Takeda. I debated it. All right, let's get to those level 55 barbs, though. Should I request justice? Nah, I'm not fighting other players. Kieran, welcome to the Elite Guard. Let's get those hype emojis welcoming. Kieran to the Elite Guard and a searching emoji to see who becomes the next member of the channel. Let's go. Oh, this is great. Those barbs melt. 
Oh, and these high-level barbs. Please just go get there in time. Oh, my gosh. Now, you may be wondering, Chisco, why you killing barbs, bro? Because I need to get to 100,000 honor before this KVK ends. To do that, I need to get to, like, what, like 80,000 honor today? And then I got zone, you know, four and hopefully five and hopefully six for the rest of KVK, but who knows? Plus, it's barb day for Mightiest Governor, and I'm trying to get first, so... It's like all these things together make it a pretty good day to go smash a lot of barbs. Fastest march is Belisarius. Slowest march is... A tie. <laughs> Kira Saladin. Nope, it's Kira Saladin. All right. That ain't so bad. Oh man, we're gonna we're gonna commit Barbicide. Oh no, somebody else is here. I should group up with them. We really should be grouped up. Do you think they'll follow my lead? What do you think are the chances? Oh, they're, they're gonna be so slow, man. I can't handle slow. The guy they had like siege units. I can't handle slow. I kill barbs really fast. I can't, I can't. They got infantry and archers. I can't. Can't handle this. But I am gonna, oh yeah, there we go. It's not that I don't want to group up. It's that I can't wait twice as long to do this, you know? Trust me, I've spent a lot of time barbing in my life, more than I would care to admit. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Yeah, good, they got there. They almost didn't hit him with me, man. I'm really fast. I don't fool around, because I'm going to be barbing for a long time. How much Mightiest Governor credit do I get for these? Level 41 to 55. Oh, it's all the same amount of points. Okay. I guess it doesn't really matter. The only thing it matters is for the honor, right? For the honor, it definitely matters. I need to be hitting all level 46s and above. Anything under 46 can just... I just ignore it. Uh, Legendary Tavern is worth it to unlock lots of different commanders. If you're a big whale, it's kind of like a huge gift. It's the thing you've wanted for a long time. Yeah, there's a difference in the crystals, but I've whaled so hard on crystals this KVK that, like, I'm going to max my crystal pack easy. You're right, but I'm going to max my crystal tech so easy. Where am I going? I guess I'll swing around this way. This music is good. Dude, let's go. Dude, I am going to spend a ridiculous amount of AP. At least I'll get a lot of materials out of the deal. I feel like it's, this is worth it, probably. Testing commanders done. No, I mean, if we get more reports, I'll happily show them. But they stopped sharing them in whale chat, so I stopped showing them. Zenobia Max in a 5551 YSS? I don't know if that's going to work. I, I don't know. I also don't know if you earn the same amount of season coins as you did in the previous. I can tell you that I did get boned today. I got legendarily boned. Where's my legendary bone? My badge of honor. Gosh bless. There it is. 
I got legendarily boned. Dude, we are picking up points so fast for Mightiest Governor. <laughs> I just picked up half a million points for Mightiest Governor. Uh, I got CC in the mix somewhere. I think CC is a secondary to Boudica right now. Dude, look how fast we rip through AP. It's gross. Yes, I got legendarily boned. I picked... I, I realized that as cool as it is to get lots of different accessories over here... Like, I don't need more patterns. I just don't. I don't need more patterns. I need the materials. I don't exactly regret not getting the materials last KVK. But I wish that I had gotten them. Why don't I barb chain to save AP? Bro, I, I just don't have time for that. I just don't have the time for that maneuver. You are correct that barb chaining will be... Really good AP value. I mean, it's... it's I, I, literally, I, I have literally made a video about how much value that is. So I'm with you. But I don't have time for that, man. Like, I need to slay and, and, and move on. Oh, I love the materials. I love the materials. The barbs in KVK are so good. I mean, the most effective way to use a ton of AP is to AoE barb farm. Hands down. It's all about AoE barb farming. It's a slam dunk. It's an oldie but goodie. Speaking of oldie but goodie, what? Oh, ooh, look at this chunk of barbs. Hello. Hello, baby. Don't even care that they're not like, you know, higher higher honor barbs. Dude, it's gonna take so much AP to do this. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be a lot of AP. Could someone figure out how much AP I have to spend to get twenty thousand honor? If there's 16 honor per barb. Somebody figure that out for me. Yeah, the barbs in KVK are definitely harder. Way too much. How much AP am I going to spend doing this? To get 20,000 honor, how much AP is this going to run me? Seventy thousand AP is what it's going to run me. I mean, I have 70,000 AP. 90,000 AP. Whatever, that's fine. I think it's worth it, right? I mean, I need it for Mightiest Governor, right? And for KVK rewards? That This is value, isn't it? AP cost per barb? With all my marches, it's 60 AP a pop. So 360 AP per barb that I kill. I think it's worth it. Like, it's worth it only for Mightiest Governor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only because of the Mightiest Governor variable. I think I go left to right here. Oh, but there's a level 46 barb right next to me. Whatever. Oh man, this area. You've never seen AP go so fast. They're higher level barbs in KVK. It's it's more AP. The KVK reward is not worth it. But because I'm getting Mightiest Governor value, it's probably overall worth it. I think is the conclusion we're drawing.
And I almost need more troops to kill the barbs faster. Oh, free barb. Did I get a free barb? Nope. It's that William AoE. Thinner than thin. What legendary accessories would I recommend for Guan? Coin and horn are what you want on Guan. Coin and horn. I have no plans to leave Kingdom 75. Oh, free barb? Free barb? We got free barb. One of my marches got it for free. I just saved 60 AP. Get it, baby. I need E Song or Ethel. Yeah, it would help, I guess. I didn't expect they'd get so many barbs so closely packed together. But like, do you I I don't know if you understand how much barbing I'm gonna have to do right now. It's kind of a lot. I have done the full wheel, yes. I got like twelve sculptures total. It was gross. Looks like I'm not missing anything, though. Theo was great for barbing, yeah. AoE barb farming, for sure. I am killing barbs like a madman. Because I don't have the time to kill them like a efficient person. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, water camp is up to bat now. That's for sure. Even wheel is boning me, legendarily boning me, yes. I was legendarily boned by the Wheel of Fortune. What is the world record for the Rise of Kingdom's Mightiest Governor Barb stage? I don't know. But it looks like Abe is going to go for it. He's up to 9.4 mil. Abe is going for broke on these barbs. Yeah, if it helps me secure a first and Mightiest Governor, it's totally worth it. So I'm killing two birds with one stone. Silent Trial is a good sub for Skolas' coin. I mean, yeah, it's fine. It's not as good as coin because shield from coin triggers the skill damage boost on the Guan expertise skill. Uh, Kingdom 75 is going to be accepting new players, Kai. Best you've ever seen is 25 mil in one barb day. That is really good. Yeah, I need to unlock my 7th March so I can do this faster. That's what I really need. Can I queue for Mightiest Governor boxes in 75? Um, so Mightiest Governor victories are distributed based on KVK contribution. So if you send lots of troops to die, you can request placement. We have all the rules listed in our... Oh no. 
I lost my free barb over here. My frarb. My free barb. That's awkward. What do I do? Can I retreat her? And then make her freeze? Do I get my AP cost back? Uh, I don't even know what just happened. Kind of gross. Maybe that cost me AP. Maybe it didn't. I don't even know. Whatever. Oh, the loot's going to be pretty good from all this. I should go get a rune. If you want to get a rune really quickly, you use like a double C or a Dragon Lancer primary. That'll get it done. Mobility commander is what you need. What legendary accessories would I recommend? You're mainly a Cav player. So for legendary accessories, for a Cav player, for open field, I think it's good to have a dagger or two. Otherwise, for legendary accessories, Horn will give you more rage. That's nice. Shield uh, from the coin will give you tankiness. Ring is going to get you just more damage, which is really quite nice. Ooh, free barb. I mean, I got to take my free barb. Theoretically, I can even angle this to get two free barbs. How are there six marches? Uh, KVK technology is how that's happened. Kira is good in Canyon. She theoretically is fine in the field. My Crystal Mine production is probably a little low from where it could be. Oh, am I going to get another Barb for free here? Am I going to do it? Without even trying? Yep, got him. I'm not going to say no. I'm also not going to spend any AP on that Barb, though. I'm sure my Crystal Mine production can be better. 195.5%. Then I should make my way toward wherever there's a rune. Although there are a lot of barbs over here. Still. Did I get a respawn? Oh, baby. That's nice. Yeah, I'll research seven marches. I mean, I have nothing else to do with my crystal. So I'll do it. I also am going to need to do some crafting pretty soon. Assuming that uh, Yadviga is, you know, a good garrison captain. I'm going to need to make some decent cav gear. My cav gear is lacking at best. Why isn't there an infantry peacekeeper? I don't know. You do get gold back from your excess crystals at the end, but like, you don't want excess crystals at the end. I don't think I have enough crystals to research anything right now. I'm getting a lot of crystals doing this. I'm getting a lot of rank, but... Is Saladin better than Constantine and Alex? They're different commanders. 
I think that Alex is overall a better commander than Saladin, but I think Saladin's very good. This is my main account that we're barbing on. Actually. <laughs> why no infantry peacekeeper? Better question is why is there a mobility garrison? Ah, uh, you know, you ain't wrong. I don't think that mobility garrison was like the thing that people would have said they really needed. Uh, we have used our legendary tavern, Sovereign Keys. You... I mean, I, I needed to do a lot of garrisoning this KVK, yeah. What's the fastest combination right now is in pure open field, not considering anything? I mean, double C with one of the other Cav commanders that has 15% extra march speed might be it. I don't know if yet Vega has... How much march speed does she give? Might be her, actually, as a primary. Okay, we got this camp of barbs. Pretty, pretty nicely done there. I say we make our way back over here. Uh, get a rune at least. Then go to somewhere else. What do we got for runes? Training speed? Is there really no, like, march speed or anything? Oh, well, maybe I don't need to be here. Damage to barbs? 5%? Man, I, I don't care. Where am I going to find good barbs? I guess I'll go up this way. Right? Get Vega's faster? Okay, well then I guess she would be the primary then. Would she? Garrison tree though. I'd have to think about it. I'd have to think about it. Possible Zhang Yu report in my inbox here? Let's get a look. Huh. I wonder what's going on here. Maybe the garrison wasn't uh, reinforced properly? It's, we only have a part of the story here, but we do see that a Zhang Yu primary, Chandragupta secondary, is, in this case, beat a Zenobia YSS. That's interesting. That's quite a report. Again, we don't have the details there. Like, we don't know if it was reinforced, not reinforced. Those matter a lot. Can't check the tech because I don't actually have the report. I just have a picture. Tech also is a reason it could be a little wonky. Could also be a siege garrison. It's very hard to say. Yeah, there's 15% march speed in peacekeeping, which, I mean, definitely relevant if you want to go super fast. My most memorable Rise of Kingdoms experiences. I mean, probably KVK Season 3. It's all a blur, but like, KVK Season 3. KVK, well, this KVK, the... the Two war camps versus one is pretty memorable. That was very fun. Um, I mean, obviously, the the Marv Wars, man. I don't know if you've watched my old videos where we're battling, you know, in a civil war in our own kingdom. Oof. I mean, that's some entertaining stuff.
That's some very entertaining stuff. You have five Marv members in your KVK? No way, Cabo. Tell me more, man. Cabo was there for this. You gotta tell me more. I'm glad to hear those dudes are still playing the game. Constantine's still good in your KVK? I don't use him for open field. I use him in Canyon. You could use him in field, though. Maxed? E Alex with Esong 5-5. Five five. Oh. Got timed out for spamming it. Rafael Reyes, thank you for the super chat. Hey, free to play slash low spender here. Wanting to know, should I get yet another uh, cow command? Uh, you mean cab commander? Or which archer in the wheel? Thanks in advance. Um, which archer from the wheel of fortune? We'll go hit another barb here and then tell you in a second. Oh, I got a free barb. Okay, I can tell you. I would say, given these options, that Ramses is the archer you would pick. Cyrus is also very good, deceptively good, but Ramses is probably the archer I would pick. From this particular Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, but he's joining me. I hope they have a lot of march speed. Did I fire CPO? <laughs> Do you mean metaphorically or? Robin Wood, 12 inch. Gosh bless. They, they are going to need some march speed to keep up with me. How am I doing on honor? Oh god, I've like barely budged. Alright, chat. You want to do some math for me? How much honor am I going to get from my naturally regenerating AP between now and the end of this KVK? Show us the power rankings. Alliance power. I mean, like... Enemy kingdom, enemy kingdom, enemy kingdom, enemy kingdom, enemy kingdom, enemy kingdom, and then allied kingdom, and then an allied kingdom for perspective. So, yeah. Although the kill board's an interesting story. I'll show you the kill board. Look at this kill board. Kill board tells an interesting story, doesn't it? Alexander the Great comes pretty early. 
Alexander the Great is going to come with the Constantine Mightiest Governor. Ugh, I feel bad for this guy. He doesn't quite have enough march speed to keep up with me. And I target barbs really fast. Because, like... Wait a minute. I should hit this barb. It's right here. Well, I, I better refill my AP over in this top screen. I don't want to accidentally hit that max button. God, that would be awful. I'll get about 70,000 AP between now and the end of KVK. Cool. So if I get... I probably just need to get to like... Somewhere, somewhere around 75,000 honor is probably where I need to be. Ooh. Actually, start up here. I need to get to at least like 75,000 honor. I am not buying VIP shop sovereign keys. Is it worth it? If you're trying to unlock those commanders, I think it's perfectly fine. If you want all the commanders that come from sovereign keys, I think the value is definitely there. If you don't, that's a different story. You need to really want to unlock all those commanders from the sovereign keys. I really think it's more whale oriented. How many materials am I getting from spending all this AP? I don't know, but it's probably not trivial. It should be a lot of materials really fast. Like a lot of materials. Uh, no. Oh, two green materials. That's what I'm talking about. Two gray materials. And a bunch of nothing. Bunch of nothing. Four gray materials. Two gray materials. Four gray materials. Two gray materials. 50 gems. Not that I really need gems right now, but... I'll take it. My barb commanders, I mean, this might not be perfect, man. I'm just kind of using whatever I got. Like, I didn't optimize it at all is what I'm trying to say. I'm just smashing barbs. I sent them out quickly because I was like, oh, I'm screaming. I got to get a move on. We're just kind of widening our lead a little bit for first not that i think it's an issue but if for some reason other people do a bunch of field fighting then i would need to too so i'm just opening up some space here for myself how do you play all six marches i double tap on the marches and then i move them around like that Ooh, hello we got a barb cluster over here. You got an imprisonment? Are there rallies on the player? Six million power. Seven minutes of imprisoned, but there's nobody nearby. I don't know what they're gonna get done with that. I don't know. We'll mark it and come back to it.
Oh, look at all these barbs. Rip my action points, though. Materials don't drop that much since the pass patch. Uh, I mean, I got two gray materials out of those six bars. Four bone, two wood. I don't know. The real problem is that I don't need all these freaking experience tomes. I need a way to turn experience tomes into basically anything else. I have so much extra experience. Alexander the Great timing. Last I checked is like 206 days into the game. It might be sooner than that now though. I think it is sooner. I think my chart's out of date. Get my alliance gifts. Yeah, I'll do that when I'm walking somewhere. I'll do that on a long walk. XP tomes, convert them into building speed ups. Stop it. Oh, text messages from the live stream fairy. All right, we'll keep this going. The old barb smashy. Buying ourselves a little bit of cushion in the mightiest governor. Getting ourselves a little bit of honor. This really helps you build up the appreciation for getting the ruins and altars of darkness. That's for sure. Alliance Gifts. I got 91 of them. Valley's hitting now. Ooh. They were 86 million power. Oh, an Alexander the Great rally. Let's go, baby. We have Alex and Martel as the rally. Classic combo from back in the day. That's going to need some reinforcements, though, or that city is going to do work here. Did I say Alliance Fairy? I think I said Livestream Fairy. They're going to king skill that rally, but the rally just needs reinforcements more than anything. They're really going for this, but to make this a thing, those reins are needed. Oh, second rally. See, this is why it's fun to stay, stick around in a Chisco live stream. You never know what's going to show up here. Double Alexander the Great. Let's go. Oh, reinforcements come into the city. Oh, that's that player's march. Oh, that's going to fill up their hospital real fast, hitting that march in the field. But good thing they were so tanky they got into that city. Oh. I don't know. That is going to be a pretty rough rally report. Oh, the Mehmed with the Alex. Let's go. Now, you may recall that the most damaging part of the rally is going to be the last 
bit of the rally. So this we're we're reaching the the point in which the most damage is dealt by the rally. It's right now. This is when the most damage is going to be dealt. All that's going to be hospital overflow. This is where it really starts to hurt. Oh, and there's a swarm. This is where the damage is dealt, right here. Wow. I don't know. They might have got some work done here. It's this very tail end where the most damage is dealt. There it is. 81 million power. I think their hospital might have filled up, but that's about it. Highest power was 87 mil, so they were their highest power. Uh, they might have had some dead troops there. It's T4. They would have dead. Back to barbing. My highest barb score on a Mightiest Governor is about 16 million, I want to say. One thousand likes and we do a crab rave. Sure, if we get to a thousand likes, uh, we'll crab rave. What the hell? I did train troops. Yeah, I, tra I trained about uh, a million T5s for this Mightiest Governor. The sixth march comes from Heroic Anthem or Season of Conquest Crystal Technology. The Legendary Star Bundle comes from starring up a commander to five or six. We'll do a crab rave if we had a thousand likes. Seems like a reasonable request. Yeah, I don't know. We're not getting that many materials. Eight hundred and eighty five likes. Can't you see the People want that crab rave. Gotta throw likes on here for the crab rave. We definitely have enough people here that if they threw likes on it, we'd we'd get the crab rave status. Six marches was a good idea. This would be a much longer process with five marches. That's for sure. We're at 900 likes. DJ Crab Ghoul. Just jumped 50 likes in 60 seconds. 80 likes away from a crab rave. What do you think, chat? You want a crab rave? Nine, 70 likes away. 60 likes away from a crab rave. 
come on, you all can do this. 1,230 of you watching. The crab rave is so close. It's so close I can taste it. And smell the old bay. Forty more likes to go and we crab rave. So close. How many dead troops do I have? Uh, about seven million dead T5. I thought I was gonna lose more of this KVK to be honest. I probably will between now and when it ends. We still have a lot of time left. Twenty-five more likes for the crab rave. So close. <laughs> Are you feeling it now, Mr. Crab? So close. Zhang Yu? I mean... He seems okay at this point. Not amazing. 17 likes to go for the crab rave. So close to the crab rave. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm still going, Dragothian. I gotta kill some barbs to get some honor. So I'm smashing barbs. Um, Dragothian, what did you think of the Zhang Yu rally reports that were floating around? Four more likes for the crab rave. Let's go. Oh, somebody removed the like and they added it back. <laughs> oh boy. Three more likes. pronounced Sean? Like Sean Yu? Oh god, am I pronouncing this incorrectly this whole time? Crab rave time! Stop everything. Stop. 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 Music stops. Oh my gosh. Don't mess with me, music player. Don't you dare mess with me. Don't you dare mess. Search. C-R-A-B. Crab. Go. Yep, only one song that shows up for that. <laughs> Crab Rave activated. Oh, yeah. Did I think I'd be doing this as an adult? No. But you can't deny DJ Crab Ghoul is kind of an awesome name. There's just no denying it. One-handed crab maneuvers while I barb. But you can't see that crab hand. I gotta keep it over here. Son of a mountain pass. Chad loves this song. Can't deny this. Follow the marches. Chat loves the crab rave. <laughs> Dragothian, you've never been here for a crab rave? Where have you been, man? <laughs> Come on, you, you've you not been here? Oh my god. Yeah. Dude, Chisco Mini definitely will join in the crab dance. It's amazing. Oh yeah. Chisco Mini loves to get in on the crab rave. My sweet little baby just has no clue. She'll just kind of bounce around, you know? 
It's, you know, it's crab rave. Breaks up the mood. Gets the chat going. It's your first crab rave. You see why it's highly requested. See? Oh, hold on, Barb. Yeah. It's a thing. You just got to go with it. Chat is, I mean, like... 42 chats a minute. It's a pretty fast pace. Oh, God. You have a video of your son twerking in the Mickey Mouse clubhouse? Maybe I'll make a video of this and uh, put it as the background. Oh, jeez. It's all about the crab rave. Nice. This is a ritual. This is a ritual. And my friends, on that note, I should go tuck in the live stream fairy. She just got her second vaccine, second shot. So we got to go and, and tuck her in. She's starting to feel some chills. Take care of her for a bit. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate you. Thank you for your likes on the video, for subscribing to the channel. We've got our meta report probably coming out tomorrow, I hope. So subscribe so you don't miss it. And until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.